What's good, YouTube family? This is Clark Starks. I got another exclusive banger for you guys. Today we have the Toon Squad from Space Jam. Now, I wanted to do this jersey a long, long, long time ago, but I just didn't get a chance to get around to it. I have saw a lot of jerseys created out there, and they're pretty much consistent from the movie Space Jam, but I always thought that this jersey could have been always better and that and that's not to anybody's fault online recreating it but it was just i felt warner brothers didn't do a good job actually making it a little bit more better it's just really simple and from the original jersey you can see that it just has the tune squad with the dot in the middle with the circle so how we remixed this was we added the characters from the actual tune squad onto it if you guys see I've also created the Monstars and I did something similar. I don't know if I perfected it. I did add something new to the game, but I kind of felt like I did a better job on this exact one. And as you can see with anything, and especially with my own personal work, there's always going to be an evolutionary process that happens. I'm going to throw something out there and I'm going to get better. And I kind of felt like I liked how the Galactic Stars work with this one a little bit more better. But... This is just kind of a remix on that outtake. Uh, you know, not to throw shade on anybody else's jersey creation, but I felt like this one was definitely more exciting for such an iconic squad in general. And just it would be perfect for NBA 2K16 custom system. Definitely have to push it a little bit more. So as you can see here within the away jersey, it's the all black jersey, of course. And um, what I did was just pretty much add that little graphic and then put my little spin to it. So going into the jersey, you can see that I used the V-neck. I think there was just the U-neck in the original one, but I wanted to give it another, some more flair, some more, you know, just versatility to it. Also on the side, you can see I have the Warner Brothers logo just to kind of give some you know insignia to the jersey in general switch it up from the adidas nike stuff and just kind of do this a little bit more different for the neck i have stripe eight for the shoulders i have stripe eight <clears throat> and with the red blue and white i think i got this from the 76 or so if you guys are recreating this jersey you could just grab it from the 76 ers color swatch palette for the waist is stripe three and the same thing red white and blue bottom is none on the shorts, you can see I added a little detail, brought back in that Space Jam logo with the universe in there. And it's just a little detail. What I wanted to do was just make it one side of the shorts. Um, that's just me being picky about what it is. You could actually, I could have made these, made that universe galaxy design on both sides of the shorts, but I just wanted to try to push the design element to it and make it one sided. If you're recreating, feel free to do it how you want to do it. How you would like it and on the left side of the shorts i added the starter now i know that this is more of a champion jersey but i never got a chance to actually put starter the starter logo which kind of gives it that 90s mid 90s flair and i wanted to bring it back to 95 96 when space jam actually did come out so that's just a little thing but like i said you can make this your own jersey you can make that the nike logo you can make that the true champion logo whatever floats your boat definitely do it On the back, I have the font 15. Uh, this is definitely more consistent with the actual jersey online, if you've ever seen it, or the one that Michael Jordan was wearing in the movie. Uh, it has that blue inner color with the red outline stripe. Fairly simple jersey in general. So that's why the little complexities of the graphic actually just pushes it way further than you know where, where it originally was going. And the, the jerseys, the jersey's not that complex. I mean, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven pieces of, uh, you know, upload imagery, and there you have it. Uh, let's look and take a look at the home uniform. With the home uniform, I wanted to do something a little different. I kind of felt like the galaxy was just too much. Now it doesn't look that bad at all, but for my personal taste, I just wanted to keep the home jersey a little bit more clean and have the graphic kind of stand out a little bit. Uh, as you can see, the only thing that has been changed is the color. 
and the Warner Brothers starter sign is in blue this time. Also, the graphic is just a different graphic with the white background. But again, you have your same elements. You have the Space Jam logo on the side of the shorts. You have the Galaxy side side um, detail, and that's pretty much it. Feel free to add the Galaxy back if you feel like it's inconsistent. But for me, you know, I'm uh, you know I don't care. Sometimes I just do I just do what I want to do whenever I want want to do it. So you know, it's, it's it's just something that I wanted to do. But um, there you have it. Those are the two home and in a way uniforms. Let's take a look at the uh, actual court. Here goes the court, and um, it pretty much carries on to the same fundamentals of the original court but I just changed a few things as you can see here on the court floor I made the wood pattern parquet when it should probably be standard but everybody's doing standard so I figured that I'll just switch it up again the key to this is just kind of making it my own and actually making it work out where at least it's not an annoyance playing on the court as you can see here I've also did a dark color for the actual court and then inside the key, the three point line, I did a lighter one just to kind of give that contrast because I felt like the white wasn't, wasn't enough. Uh, for the apron, it's a green color. This is more standard toward the, the original Space Jam court or Tomb Stadium. So I chose the, I think this is maybe a, the Boston Celtics or Milwaukee Bucks green but uh, feel free to make it any green you want. And this, this red or burgundy comes from the Cleveland Cavaliers colors. Pretty much there you have it. It's a really simple stadium in general. Uh, the two things I have is Tomb Stadium and Tomb Stadium. And then I have some just wording, only one tomb and what up guy. And pretty much there you have it. Again, the logo goes right in the middle. Uh, just to kind of give it another outlook and a different outtake on the Space Jam design in general. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Definitely keep tuned. Definitely subscribe, push like, comment. All good. All wanted, all needed. So definitely guys, um, you know, if you have any questions, definitely hit me up on the, in the comment list. And, uh, you know, I'll definitely get back to you at my earliest convenience. Peace.